All right, so we hit OK. Next thing we look at is frequency bands. And we've seen some changes in the last couple software updates with this particular window. Now what we're giving you is the capability to go before it was this 0.0. .0. Sorry, going back just for a second, you had your default set of eyes closed for, for Z-score training, or is that your condition has to be clicked for Z-score? It only applies when you put an age in the field above. Then the eyes open and close become active. So if there's nothing in there, that, will, that default will disappear? Doesn't that it disappears, it stays selected, but it's like the save EEG to disk, or, or not to say, the um, some channel mode, it only applies when it's on. So once you put an age in there, then all of a sudden the Z-Score software wakes up and goes, okay, what sites are you trading at? Here's how old they are. Oh, are their eyes open or closed? If I don't have an age, the age is zero, Z-Score software's sleeping, okay? It doesn't care if it's open or closed because the database is not being accessed. All right. Now frequency bands. Used to be 0.0. .0. Now we give you the capability of going 0, 0.000, basically. Okay. So we just added some decimal points there for you. Eight different components. They happen to be named delta, theta, alpha, low beta, beta, high beta, and gamma in user. Doesn't necessarily need to be those names. Sue Othmer likes to use reward for the reward and lower inhibit, medium inhibit, high inhibit, like different terms. Brown, um, Dr. Thomas Brownback will use you know, beta 1 modified, beta 2 modified, you know, different things like that. Thatcher uses beta 1, beta 2, beta 3. So these are fully adjustable. Not only is the bandwidth of the component adjustable, but the name is completely adjustable to you, whatever you want it to be. It can be my favorite band, okay? Now, once you've made, like, changes, Again, we always hit OK, but let's say you made a bunch of changes and you go, man, I don't even remember where I started. I just want to get it back to where it was. Standard settings. Standard settings takes it right back. Okay. Everybody clear there? So you can choose whatever Yep, you can widen the filters. Like I've seen people do a um, wide inhibit where they'll do a, a wide low inhibit from 1 hertz to 13, and then a high or a um, yeah high wide inhibit from 20 to 40 or something. Fully adjustable. And I've seen people do multiple inhibits where they inhibit eight different inhibit bands and they're each one or two hertz wide. So you have full flexibility any way you want. Okay. On the fly frequency adjustment increment. Okay. Defaults to 0 0.05 hertz. Okay. Now, when when you go to adjust it, and you want to move it, let's say, 3 hertz, 0.050. it's 0 0.050. Mine says 0 0.0. Okay. <laughs> All right. Be aware. You, this is... 0 0.05. Mine says 0.5. Right. Well, I think I hit it. Under standard. Yeah. Like standard settings? I hit it. See how I just adjusted it? Okay. That's your standard. Right. Standard is 0.5. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Right. Okay. Hit standard and you'll see it click back. Just depends. The key is is that it can be anything you want. I can swipe over this and go 2.0. Oops. 2.0. What it's doing is let's say I happen to set theta from 4 to 7, but I'm in the middle of the training screen and I say, "You know what? I'd rather that be 3 to 6." I can then shift the window on the fly on the training screen. 
what is the increment that every time I hit the button to shift it, will it move by? If I happen to set, and the reason I made the example, if I happen to set it at point zero five zero, I'm be hitting that button a lot of times, okay? So keep that in mind. So the reason I brought it up is because of this low frequency training, there are times that you may want it point zero zero one increment because people are training from point zero zero one to point zero zero three. So they might need to, to move it that hundredth or thousandth or whatever it is, okay? Normally, in traditional, where you're going four to seven hertz, you probably want it at a half hertz increment, so you don't have to hit the button a thousand times. We uh, reword this in uh, terminology that a dummy like me can understand. If what that means is, is if we had, if we were demonstrating this on a analog meter, okay, and every time we would, we would make a, what we would have to see, to see a deflection in the meter, would be whatever we've set here. It would change point five if we have it there. Would show us deflection. I don't know or if the right word is deflection. Yeah, it would show us a deflection at point oh five. Uh, I don't like, like that, that example. Um, the reason being That's is, one I can well, yeah, but the meter is showing you one point. It's not showing you a window. The meter is not showing you from four to seven hertz. We're talking about if we preset a filter band from four to seven hertz, and I want to now make it five to eight. Do I want to move it four point five to seven point five, five to eight, or do I want to move it? One hertz increment every time I hit the button. It's going to be how sensitive that they're going the to button. see the feedback, right? It's, no, it's it's simply when I go to shift it, when I go to change the parameters of that window, and I want to go from four to seven to five to eight. Do I want to move it in a tenth of a hertz? So I have to go 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, 4 and move it slowly, or do I want to jump in a whole hertz every time I hit the keyboard? All it is is increment used on the fly frequency adjustment. So as I shift down the spectrum that stack component, is it going to move in a tenth of a hurt, a half a hurt, or one hurt every time I hit the keyboard once? And it's the same across all frequencies. All bands. So you can't adjust nope. one band with no. jumps then nope. like another. Nope. And this okay. is similar kind of the, the bio explorer being able to on the fly kind of shift. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. Everybody clear with that? What we're talking about? Okay. Everybody clear with that? Okay. 